So I don't know. I mean, anything could have happened. Rationally, I have to say, I think he just killed himself or disappeared in some normal, natural, well, normal, <laughs> what a word, in some natural way. But uh, there's always that question, and I can't answer it. He started off from the idea that every event leads to alternative possible outcomes. There's the outcome that we may be conscious of and then other alternative outcomes which exist but aren't necessarily visible to us. He believed and he postulated the existence of a negative minus one dimension which would form a bridge between these outcomes so that you could go from one reality in which one outcome had taken place to another reality in which the other outcome had taken place. The problem was, and what made it really controversial as far as the physics community was concerned, was the fact that he used psychoanalysis as the model for this uh, theory of his, um, believing, or at any rate postulating, that in psychoanalysis, because you go from one reality, which is the patient's existing one, to the alternate, which is how the patient would have been if he hadn't been traumatized, that was somehow a model for the negative dimension, the bridge across from one outcome to another. This was very, very difficult for the physics community to accept and basically gave rise to all the controversy. I was parking my motorbike one day. I mean, he would have been, at that time, he would have been about, it was about five years after his disappearance, he would have been about 35. So I was parking my motorbike, and there was a group of children playing on the pavement. And as I put the side stand down, I realized one of them was him. I mean, he wasn't 35, he was seven, but I mean, I know my own son, and he, he just, I just knew it was him. I, without even thinking, I went straight up to him and I grabbed him by the arm and I said, Mark, come with me. And he looked at me and kind of smiled to begin with, but as I started to kind of pull him away, he started yelling at me in, in I think it was Turkish. And then his, all his little mates came up and started kicking me. They must have thought I was a pervert. And in the end, I just had to let him go and they ran off. I, I didn't see them again.